Western influence, Eastern mindset, fond of Hollywood trends, yet finds comfort and styles from Japan and Korea. Taking the essence of both worlds, this is Taiwan to me. Today, I'm on a mission to find the perfect outfit for a night on the town, or more precisely, for my date tonight. In the land where Japanese and Korean pieces dominate the high street fashion, more efforts are needed to stick to my liking of Western flair. So to make my life easier, my friend introduced me to Hong Kong fashion blogger Melinda, who is coming to my rescue. Let's hope. I am meeting fashion blogger Melinda Wing for the very first time, and I'm super excited. Right now, she's working inside this artifact store in which I know carries an array of brands. Now let's head inside and see what she has up her sleeve. It must be Melinda. I can see from your outfit. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Taiwan. Thank you. How do you like Taiwan so far? I actually have a lot of relatives that live in Taiwan, so I personally am quite familiar with Taiwan. Okay, that's and I cool. love Taiwan. And what are you doing right now? I'm actually here to work today, so okay. I'm looking for the perfect outfit to shoot. Okay, so my name is Melinda. I'm a fashion graduate from Central St. Martin. You know, I find it really hard to introduce myself always because I feel like I do a little bit of everything. But I'm a fashion blogger from Hong Kong and I'm a consultant for art students. And then I'm also doing a personal project right now. I'm designing my own swimwear slash lifestyle line. I find this uh, store quite cool. You can actually have a whole new outfit from head to toe. They have all these accessories along with the clothes. Yeah, this is actually one of my favorite stores to shop in Dongchu. They carry a lot of my favorite brands like Curvon, Elizabeth and James. What do you have so far? What do you have? I actually Press. picked out this white tank top and this mm. patterned skirt. Because, you know, I feel like my outfit today is a little dark. Me so, too. Yeah, so I kind of picked out something that's on, on the lighter tone. Okay, can we take a look at it? Yeah, let's go. So I want to pick something that's more colorful today, so I think the skirt is actually perfect. Because the patterns are already very full and flashy, so I want to pick something that's more plain on the top and a little manly or just to balance the whole girliness. This is very cute. Yeah. And the tribal print right now is very in right now. Yeah, and the metallic is really nice. The detailing is quite unique yeah. and also I feel like this earthy tones makes, makes it very pleasant to the eye. Yeah. And then I was looking, I actually think this top would go perfect. I would usually just go for the black, to be honest. Yeah. But I guess the white looks actually looks The white nice. actually looks really nice, and then I love how it's like very thin, yeah. the fabric, so you can wear like a nice bralette or like a nice lingerie mm -hmm. underneath to show it off. So it's like a nice combination. combination. It's like casual yet chic, and it's also very comfortable, I feel like. Yeah. My personal style is like a little androgynous, but I like to keep a balance with everything. So I would say I'm a little tomboy at times, but I like my girly cuts and high heels to balance my whole outfit out. Melinda, I feel like with a very simple tank top, you need some accessories. Yeah. yeah? So I was just looking, so this actually this brand, Jumi Lim, is like a new and upcoming brand. Mm -hmm. A lot of their jewelries are actually handmade, so for their pricing, I actually think it's very reasonable and okay. affordable. And because the outfit I picked was on like a lighter tone, so mm -hmm. I actually feel like this would go really well. Oh, long. this is really cute. I like the pearl and the contrasting spikes with yeah, it. Yeah, because pearls are usually known to be a little more girlier yeah. and classic, so it's kind of like a big contrast with like gold spikes. I actually think it would look really great with your outfit yeah. today too. It has more personality to it, right? Yeah. It has that look of, I'm girly but don't mess with me. Kind yeah. Of I like it. So we're done picking the jewelry, mm -hmm. so let's go look at the bags. So I'm a huge fan of like mini bags. I, I love small bags Yeah, too. I love small bags. Like I don't even care if it's like, there's, I can't, no room. there's no room for anything. So I was like eyeing this bag just then. This is actually a Leffler Rendell bag. Mm -hmm. It's really cute. I love the camel tone and it goes well because it has a gold touch yeah. to it. So it matches the necklace. It matches right? the necklace also and the skirt. skirt so okay. it's really nice. I think the biggest difference between Hong Kong and Taiwan is that, you know, Hong Kong is known to be a very international city. So there's a lot of brands in Taiwan. And personality-wise, I think Hong Kong girls are a little bit more strong. They have a strong personality. But with Taiwan girls, I feel like they're very into the whole cutesy Korean, Japanese fashion. So they're a little bit girlier and then they're very into mix and matching affordable clothing. Okay, now that we have the whole outfit, we're missing shoes, right? Yes, we So, are. where are the heels? Mm, no heels? No heels. Okay. But let's take a look. 
I mean, this is actually quite nice. This is a common project. Mm -hmm. You know, for every pair of shoes, they have like different oh, numbers so on unique. it. So it's very unique, yeah. But you know, for today's outfit, I think maybe something a little sportier. Um, I actually think these would be perfect. Okay. And you know what's special about it? They're not just like normal sneakers. Mm -hmm. They're like a little platform. Yeah. So it kind of lengthens your whole leg and it, you know, kind of gives you a little height. So yeah. you, you look long and lean. I like the fact that Melinda knows how to create the gender blurring look, which I also find extremely appealing. What is interesting about her style is she's into mixing different materials of clothing together. With a fashion taste similar to mine, I am convinced that she can find something that impress my date. Melinda, I really like your outfit. Thank this you. It fits really well. Yeah, the skirt's really cute. Yeah, and you I look very approachable. That you've swapped your t-shirt yes, as well. Yes, yes. What do you think of this? Yes, I get the inside joke. I went shopping while you're changing. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm, I thought it was appropriate. Yeah. Anyways, Melinda, I'm actually here to ask you for a favor. Okay. I need to go on a date, mm -hmm. and I want to change up my style a little bit. My preference is I like it sexy rather than cute. Okay. So no Hello Kitty, no flowery stuff, no mm -hmm. cutesy stuff. Okay. Can you help me find an outfit for me? Yeah, I actually know a few perfect stores around the corner so we can go. But okay. when is your date? It's tonight. Okay, so we don't have much time. So okay, let's so let's go. go yeah. yeah, okay. So are you excited about your date yeah, tonight? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. What type of guy is he? Um, he's pretty casual okay. and we're about the same age. Yeah. We're going to eat tonight, but I don't know what kind of restaurants. So we'll probably pick something in between. Nothing okay. too formal, nothing too casual. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so by looking at the way you dress, mm -hmm. I feel like your style is more westernized. Yeah. So that's why I brought you to the shop. The shop's called Double Take. Mm -hmm. They buy in a lot of like Australian and American. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So you're actually pretty petite, but you have a great body. Thank you. So Thank you. I'm flattered. I feel like a lot of clothes would actually okay. suit you. But I think for our first date, we can do like a light knitwear. Mm -hmm. This would actually be quite perfect. This and this is something I actually would choose in terms of color. Right, yeah. Because yeah. Asian girls in general, they have a very petite body size. So I would usually recommend them to wear something fitted. But this top, you know, today that I picked for Louisa is short at the bottom and then long at the back. So it kind of creates this illusion of, it lengthens the body a lot more. So she can look slimmer and taller. Well, let's see if they're very sexy. And yeah. I look at how you can be like, I want to show you, but not really, yeah. right? So now we're looking for fitted bottom. Yes. How about this one? Look at this shiny white jeans. Look at me. You know, I want you to come off a little girly on your first date. Okay. So I would actually prefer something that's like a skirt, like a body-fitted oh, okay. skirt. All right, so no yeah. pants, right? No pants. How about these then? So I guess we have to say no to this tiger print shorts as well? Yeah, that's definitely a come no on, for come me. On. Attention in the I back. I mean, to be honest, they're quite cute, I must say. But they're more for like music festival or like okay. a very casual concert date. It's but not too. It's not serious enough, right? Yeah, because we don't know what kind of date you're going to, okay. so you don't want to come off too casual. Maybe this this would actually go perfect. Oh, okay, this is like a mini skirt, I guess. Yeah, it's I have something in. similar when okay. you dress it on. It looks bubbly right now, okay. but when you dress it on, it's actually drapey. Okay. So visually, it'll look kind of different because there, there's going to be another texture and contrast to your knitwear. Yeah. So it really depends who your date is and what you're doing with your date. But in general, from my past experience, I feel like guys don't really like anything too crazy over the top. Nothing with spikes, studs, nothing with heavy fabric. You know, I feel like guys, they like looking at you. Um, feeling comfortable, approachable. So I would recommend fabrics that are more like soft, elegant, silky, flowy. So when they look at you, you feel a lot more comfortable. Oh, it's super cute. I so love how it. Do you like your outfit? I love this top. It's super comfortable. I like how it's breezy, super sexy on the side. And what I love about this skirt is it's fitted, and yet I feel like I can move around it. I can do a little dancing, you know, if yeah. I want to. So I found a little something for you. What is it? My present? Yes. Wow, this necklace, because I feel like it would draw attention to your neckline, so it would, it would actually be perfect. Oh, I like this. Yeah. This look is not something that I would normally go for, but to my surprise, it actually suits my personal style and figure. Thanks to Melinda, I am bringing confidence out with me tonight.